Amazon isn't killing the Fire Phone just yet. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The Amazon Fire Phone was a major flop, but it's not yet extinguished. Amazon's senior vice president of devices has acknowledged that the phone was overpriced and that Amazon is learning from its mistakes for the next release. So the Fire Phone will be back. Amazon's smartphone originally cost $200 with a contract, but most people expected it to be priced cheaper than the competition. With reviews complaining about a lack of apps, overheating, and poor battery life, the fire fizzled fast. In the U.S., the price dropped to 99 cents. But Amazon seems to be doing fine with its new streamer, the Fire TV Stick. It doesn't even come out until November 19th, but shortly after pre-orders began, it ran out of stock and it's now listed as being on back order until January 15th. So unless you were among the very first to order, don't count on giving one as a holiday gift. The BlackBerry Messenger app has a new treat it hopes to win you over. You can now retract a message if you send something you regret, or you can set a timer for how long a message can be seen. That's similar to what's popular on Snapchat. Now, if you want to mask your identity on the web and surf anonymously, you can use a browser called Tor. And when you use Tor, your IP address and location are hidden from any website you visit. Before today, if you visited Facebook with Tor, the site didn't load right. But now Facebook has created a special link for Tor users so you can connect securely. And this can also be helpful in countries where the government restricts internet access, allowing more people to get on Facebook without revealing their identity. Sony gave some PlayStation owners a good scare. A glitchy system update to the PS4 is causing crashes. Some users say that when they enter a standby rest mode, they can't wake up the console. There also have been problems reported with uploading game clips to YouTube. Before downloading the 2.0 update, check if Sony released a fixed version. And if you already did download it, well, Sony suggests booting the console in safe mode to avoid problems. A few days ago, you heard about the Taco Bell app that lets you order your chalupas and gorditas ahead of time for pickup. Well, other fast food chains are looking into doing the same thing. When it comes to paying at a restaurant with your phone, Starbucks has the most successful app. But next year, the app will let you place orders ahead of time and some areas will offer delivery, so you won't have to drag your body out of the office to get a pumpkin spice latte. That's your tech news update, and you can always sink your teeth into more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.